Hey everyone, so it seems a lot of you are interested in knowing how to train fitness during lockdown. I'm currently doing all of my climbing fitness training on a fingerboard, so this episode is all about training fitness on a fingerboard. When climbing roots or long boulders, there are two ways which your body can produce energy for the muscles to work. The aerobic system can supply energy almost indefinitely, so it's really important for longer climbs. However, it cannot provide a lot of energy really quickly. This means the muscles need to use a different system, the anaerobic system, for providing energy for short, hard sequences. The bad news is the anaerobic system produces waste products that make us get tired and fall off. But the good news is the aerobic system cleans up these waste products. So for endurance training, we need to work on both the anaerobic and aerobic fitness and make sure that they are in balance. Okay, so how do we train them? Training aerobic fitness requires training for a long duration at a low intensity. If we could go climbing right now, you'd be looking to spend a long time on the wall at a low to moderate level of pump. Training anaerobic fitness is best done in shorter efforts. So if we could go climbing right now, we'd be looking to do a hard 10 to 15 move boulder and resting for the amount of time it took us to climb that boulder times by two and then pushing ourselves really hard. But how do we train fitness during lockdown? It's easy to train fitness on a fingerboard, but there are three key aspects that we need to think about. Intensity, time under tension and rest periods. Intensity. If you know what the maximum you can hang on an edge for is, getting the intensity right is easy. For aerobic training, the intensity should be 30 to 40% of your maximum. For anaerobic training, it should be 70 to 80% of your maximum. For example, if you weigh 70 kilograms and then you add 30 kilograms to get your max hang, you're 100 kilograms in total. So for aerobic training, you'd use 30 kilograms assistance and for anaerobic training, you do it at body weight. If you don't have a pulley or don't know what your max is, don't worry. You can stand on the bathroom scales to get the intensity right, or you can make a guess and judge the intensity by how you feel, but more on this later. Time under tension is the total amount of time that you're hanging off the fingerboard for. So with aerobic training, this should add up to about 10 minutes per session, and for anaerobic training, it should be more like six minutes. Rest duration is the amount of time that you should spend resting between efforts on the fingerboard. For aerobic training, rest time should equal hang time. For anaerobic training, rest time should equal hang time times about two or three. The fingerboard sessions that I do to train aerobic and anaerobic fitness are both based around repeaters, which is hanging for seven seconds and then resting for three seconds. For my aerobic session, time under tension is six reps of seven, three repeaters. So one minute total. I do 10 sets of this, which equals 10 minutes of hang time. The rest interval for this session is one set equals one minute. Rest between sets is one minute. The intensity of this session is 30 to 40% of my maximum. For me, I do this session with 15 kilograms assistance. So that's 15 kilograms off my body weight. In my anaerobic session, time under tension is six reps of seven, three repeaters. So that takes one minute. Six sets equals six minutes of hang time. The rest interval, one set equals one minute. So the rest between sets is two to three minutes because it needs to be two to three times the hang time. The intensity of the session is 70 to 80% of our maximum. It's really important to know what these sessions are supposed to feel like before you try them. Knowing how the exercise feels should help you get the intensity right. If you don't have a pulley or a way to figure out your maximum, you have to go off feel alone. Don't worry too much if you don't get it quite right, it's still useful training anyway. It's important to remember that you shouldn't be failing on these hangs. If you fail on the very last hang of the very last set, that's okay. But ideally, you should complete all the hangs, just about. Knowing this is a great way to figure out the intensity and you can play around with the different weights between sessions. For aerobic training, you will hopefully feel mildly pumped. You shouldn't be finding these hangs too hard. If they're a real fight, take some weight off. For anaerobic training, it should feel harder. Ideally, you won't feel too pumped, but you will need to try hard to stop your fingers uncurling on the last rep. It's important to maintain form throughout these hangs. 
If you get really pumped, try using slightly longer rest time. Aerobic training is less intense and you can do more of it. You will feel tired the day after, but you can still train. Whereas anaerobic training, you definitely want to rest the day after because you'll be feeling really tired. I do three aerobic sessions a week currently, and I'm doing two sets per session with 10 minutes rest between. Because it's much lower intensity, I can train it quite a lot more. Whereas the anaerobic session, I'm only doing once a week, and I make sure I always have a rest day after that because it's way higher intensity, and I need to be careful not to push my forearms too much. This is what I'm doing at home on the fingerboard whilst I'm not able to go climbing. It's worth mentioning that I've built up to this over a long period of time, so years and years from my climbing. So it's really worth kind of listening to your body and not throwing yourself into it too hard and really thinking about it and taking it slowly when you start out doing these sessions. These are sessions that I do in my own training and I've worked closely with my coaching team to stay as fit as possible during lockdown. So I hope you guys find them useful too and let me know how you get on and what else you wanna see. Thanks.